commenting with Google Plus sucks. But commenting with Reddit is awesome. So head on over to Reddit and leave a comment on this video. And as always, thanks so much for watching. Hey there! You're watching the Jessa channel on YouTube. I'm Jessa, and today I am here with more Akinthop Isle. We are in front of the bakery, ready for part two of the decorating episode. In part one, I gave you an idea of how the bakery is going to run, showed you a close up of all the yummy sweets. We did the walls and the floors, I like the way they came out. And we're on to part two now. And in this part, I'm going to work on some of the small decorations for the lot. One of the things that I will <laughs> readily admit that I am not good at, I'm just going to say it straight out, <laughs> is that I'm not good at, at um, cluttering. Uh, and I think that's partly because I don't clutter in... Oops, let's try this again. Um, I don't clutter in my actual home. Uh, and my home is very zen like <laughs> uh, and in fact when my now husband first walked into my house he said it's so peaceful in here <laughs> and uh, I was quite pleased with that because that's what I aim for so you know um, I don't really feel like changing that for my sims and I need to do that because you know some of them really do enjoy it. The other reason I don't clutter is because even though I have lots of clutter, I do find it rather tedious to put things on OMSPs and all that kind of stuff. It's bad enough doing it for the retail stuff, but I really feel like this kitchen, of course, needs a little more to it. And I admire simmers who really take the time. Oh, I know where I need to go. Over here. Appliances. Who really take the time to make their lots gorgeous and amazing and... Oh, don't tell me these aren't going to go on here. Uh, me, 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 me. That's my don't tell me it's not going to go on here noise. Okay, good. That flipped me for a second. Sometimes, there are two different sizes. This is for small objects, and there's another one for large objects. And sometimes creators will choose to make something be a bigger size than you think it is. Uh, okay, some salt and pepper type or... Um, canisters. I imagine that has like flour and different types of flowers and that kind of stuff in it. Those are salt and pepper shakers. No. What is that? Um, even though that's an, uh, it says here's an ice bucket. I'm going to change it. <laughs> change what it is to me and make it be um even with the quarter tile cheat, sometimes I just want to put things exactly where I want them to go. So I'm going to turn that off, or turn snap objects to grid off completely, so I can put this right where I want it to be. So these are decorative objects. The Sims do not use them, but they just add to the to the you know, to the kitchen, make it look you know used as if there's bowls sitting out. That kind of thing. And I'm going to pretend that this is a little mixing bowl. That goes... I think I'm going to put that over here. I'm going to turn the bucket just a little bit. Like so. And then once I've decided that I like everything the where, it, where it is, which I do... I'm going to try and, let's see, let me take this down here. It's sometimes hard to find the OMSP and change its color. So there is a, actually, there's a OMSP controller out there. It looks like a painting and it will turn all of your OMSPs in a lot on or off visible or not visible and with one click, but it does not work for me. And let me know if it works for you, if you have this problem too. But when I use it, it does turn all the OMSPs invisible but when I come back to the lot they're all visible again and I you know I save the lot leave it 
shut the game down, come back the next time I play the game, and the, and the Ole Bees are all visible again. I don't know what's happening with it, but rather than try and figure it out, I just go through and make my OMSPs invisible the the usual way. Um, okay, I'd like also... Over here, there's a particular um, small appliance that I'm looking for. And watch it not be available on community lots. Yep, it's not. I hate that. <laughs> I really wish that <laughs> that's one I really wish creators would make things uh, available on, on all lots but okay um and there is a way that I could fix that you know and make it available on community lots the the type of the I'm looking for a food processor type thing um and there is a way for that to happen but uh I think I'm not gonna bother with it at the moment if it's really important I will change it uh, so I'm going to do this in hopes that it'll make the prep of the kitchen a little bit more, um, a little bit faster. That's what these supposedly do. Now, I rarely use them. I tend to not mind my Sims taking the few extra minutes, I guess it takes. I've never timed it to do the food by hand with a chopping board and all that stuff. But let's see what this does for making things easier on our baker. And... Oh, and also, the only thing I guess that I'm a little sad about with this bakery is that, you know, it's too small to put a table in here. Um, I mean, I suppose I could squeeze one in if I were willing to give up one of these shelf spaces, but I'm not. Um, you know, I suppose, actually, now that I think about it, I could put a table right over here for somebody to sit down and eat. Or maybe I could put some tables along here and people could come out here and, and eat, eat some baked goods. And I suppose I might think about that or put some tables outside. But for now, we're just going to worry about this inside. And then if he wants to expand and put some tables out so that Sims can buy some baked goods and just have a little fun table to eat them with. It is summertime in Akinthop, so the weather is good for that. So I might do that. That's a, a nice compromise. Now, uh, over here, I'm wondering if, and we're going to find out, if I put the trash can on the inside here where I think it makes sense, like, say, like that. I'm just wondering if a sim can use it, because it's right in front of the door right here. So we're going to find out by testing it and see, <laughs> and seeing how that works. Um... My kitchen still feels a bit empty. It needs some things on the walls. And I, once again, I do have an idea of what I'm going for here. The uh, particular objects I'm going for. How big are these? I'm looking at these little gl uh, glass jars, wondering how big they are. That's a pretty good size one. What size is this one? That one's nice, too. And what size is this one? Nice. So I'm going to take these jars, put them over here. These jars are by Buggy Boos, her absolutely wonderful, wonderful self. She's a fantastic modder. I'm going to change the color of some of them. I like the size of them. That one's too small. Um, that one's a good size. And I'm going to just randomly grab a color here. And then one more. Is this the right size? Oh, that's the same one as I already have. Okay. And how about this one? How big is this? Ooh, that's a nice big one. Good. That'll take a little bit of time to put on some OMSPs, but I think it will be worth it. To sit in front of the window here and add some more interest here. But, as what I was saying here, I want to go over here to the wall. Oh, wait. Saw one here that I missed. Ooh, a vinegar drizzler. That's cool. Do, 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 do.
by the way, that's all part of, um, it's just culinary clutter, I think, is what she's calling it. Ooh, that's even better than the vinegar one. Um, so... There is... Ah! Just here is an example of what I was going for as far, far as wall decor is concerned. So I'm going to put this out as a choice, possible choice. But I know I also have some knives that hang on the wall. Having so many different things, it might be in wall hangings. That music playing in the background, that stunning music, is by Kevin McLeod at Incompetech.com. Royalty-free music. You can grab his link down below. And let me show you these jars, by the way. These are by Boblishman, I believe. Yep, Boblishman. They're really nice. They're really um, early custom content that came out. Probably 2005 or 2006. Okay, so I'm not seeing the uh, item I'm looking for, so let's he go head over here to the paintings and see if it's hiding in there. When you have so much custom content, sometimes people take a lot of time to... Ah, I'm going to pull that out because I want to use it. Uh, sometimes people take a lot of time to categorize their custom content into into uh, folders over here. Um, but I haven't done that for one real basic reason, and that is uh, I'm way too lazy to bother with that. <laughs> I'd rather just spend half the Let's Play looking for <laughs> looking for a set of knives on the that I probably passed by <laughs> ten minutes ago. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> hmm. I was reading a thread recently about um, it, using an integrated hood similar to the type that I use and that I've learned from other simmers, so I can't take credit for it. Um, but uh, a, one of the one of the complaints about that particular playing style is that it can seem very tedious, like very math oriented, doing a lot of math and that kind of stuff. Ah, pots descending from the ceiling. Here we go. Of course, not the knives I was looking for, but heck. <laughs> Let's see. Yes, silver, kind of bronze, copper or black. Silver, please, and thank you. Okay, and that has decided me. I think I'm going to take these pots and put them away for now, these Maxis pots. And I'm going to put this over here because I can't find the knives I'm looking for, even though I know they're there. They may not be, they may, like I said, be one of those things that don't show up on community lots for whatever reason. <laughs> Anyway, yeah, that looks like a much more full, cluttered, well-used kitchen. We just have some things to do over here with the bottles. I know exactly how I want to do those. So I'm going to pause recording because it'll be a little bit tedious and then come back when they're all nicely set up. Well, there you go. Pretty bottles lined up all in a row with all the different... I want this for my kitchen. That's gorgeous. I'll have to do that. <laughs> but anyway, um, all the, the beautiful glasses sitting right in front of the window, able to catch the light. And if you if this were real life, we would know that you don't put spices and things in front of a window. Well, in clear, like, clear glass jars, I should say, because it will uh, degrade the spices. But heck, this is The Sims. We can do whatever we want. Ha ha ha. She says, empowered. Um, I keep having a problem here with my uh, little stove. Let me... You quit doing that, stove. Don't you do that. Don't you give me any trouble. Watch it give me some trouble. <laughs> there we go. Uh, my cabinet wasn't connecting, and I was like, no! <laughs> okay, um... 
The only way I'm going to be able to test this trash can is when I need to throw something out, which I don't need to do right now, so we'll have to just wait and find out. Um, we have all the little things and tips and tricks uh, that I do, you know, the little business... Mm, I don't know the word for it. The little things that I use to run a business, like, for example, the uh, thing that I use to call in employees here, call in all employees, which we don't have any yet, the uh, customer limit select selector, which I ha think I have set to five customers, but I've set it now. Uh, my caller ID, which is wonderful, and oops, <laughs> turn something on without meaning to. And um, I have my little bathroom controller here, as per usual. Let's put a uh, something on the wall here. This is just begging for a little painting of some sort. Now, eventually, there will be an art studio in Akinthop in which Sims will go and buy paintings, either commissioned paintings or pre-done paintings. But in the meantime, we're going to have to rely on the buy catalog. I would like to have something, um, there's, if I remember correctly, there's some herbs that I can use. Uh, let me just think for a second where they would be. I'm pretty sure they're in the painting mode. Let's see. Let's go back to the beginning and look for them. There are a bunch of bundled herbs, and I'm, I'm not mistaken. I think, oh, here are my knives. <laughs> Too late now. <laughs> I thought they were in paintings. Although, what the heck am I talking about? I didn't know. Um, oh, and here are some... Uh, uh, let's grab these pot holders, which I have a lot of recolors from uh, Anna. A-N underscore N-A. Anna is how she would uh, have her name in the sim community. And I haven't seen her for a while, unfortunately, too bad, because she was a fantastic simmer. She did a, a redesign of the goth house, which is the best I've ever seen. That I have ever seen. Um, I'm going to raise these up because, you know what I thought? I thought, these will catch on fire right here. Now, we know that that's not going to happen in Sim World, but heck. The Sims don't know that. <laughs> okay, let's go back to looking for that uh, little bit of herb. Because I thought it could be, you know, I want something that's kind of culinary, culinary in theme. Yep, that's the spoons I was thinking of, too. Oh, well. That's how you find something in a huge catalog that you have. Stop looking for it and start looking for something else. <laughs> and then all the stuff you were looking for <laughs> will pop up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sometimes I think about whether I should, you know, cut this out and have you guys edit it out. But no, you just need to see the pain of being a true diehard simmer. <laughs> that and I hate editing. <laughs> um, not seeing them, and I'm I'm looking here, but I'm I'm almost positive they're in paintings. So I'm gonna pause, and I'm gonna I'm determined. I'm gonna find them. I'll be right back. The good news is I found the herbs I was looking for. They're just here. And they are by Maxis, and they're called Wilted Love. And so I put those in. And then also while I was searching around, I found these awesome flags that I had downloaded some time ago from Katie VIP, who... Um, she posts over at Goss at Garden of Shadows, and she tends to post very large sets of items that have been um, transferred over from other games, um, like uh, Silent Hill. And so, for so she has these flags that are part of the Legend series, the Legend series city. And so head on over to Goss and take a look for those flags. But these flags are so cute. And I meant to get... Well, I'm going to. Didn't mean to. But I'm going to get them. I got them for putting out in my parks. In between trees or fence posts and that kind of stuff. But I think they look fantastic in the bathroom too. And I love them. So here they are. Kind of attached to my mouse here. You can see. 
and they do go up and down with the walls and the floors so you could even put them for example now that I think about it you could even put them right here on the uh, and drape them over the the in fact what the heck am I talking about I think I'm gonna do it what the heck let's live wild there we go right up oh, so all the flags are sticking out there there and I'm gonna stick another one in here because it's so cute this is what you call a happy accident That's very cute. Now, let me know what you think about the flags being sort of overlapped like this. If I put one flag in just like that, because I don't want it to look like the flags are just sticking out of nowhere, you know. And I'll do some more over here since they just happen to go with the outside. And if you do download these, show me some pictures of how you're using them as well. Over at reddit.com forward slash r forward slash adjust the channel. I'm going to have to move this uh, phone booth or it's not going to let me put it up here and it's going to be difficult. Stop popping on top of stuff. <laughs> Cut that out. It's still popping up on something here. Let's see if I can get it over here. Let's see how that looks. That looks very cute, I think. Let me know what you think. Or if you think I should just do one strand kind of along the middle or something. Yeah, yeah let me know. Um, and this is my customer selector, which I swear by. I'm going to stick it right under here. And I have heard that some of you are having trouble with the customer selector, like Josie. And the I had trouble with it, too, for a long time. It didn't work for me. Until I went back and read the thread extremely carefully and saw mentioned in some small sentence somewhere that you need to have the money order. I'll show you what I mean. Don't ask me why. I think it's because from a very early rendition of this mod, he intended to have it be like if the if the if a sim had the money order in their inventory, they would be ignored by the customer selector. I think that's what it was, if I remember. Uh, this is not it. Um, but it looks exactly like this. Uh, is it here? Yeah, here. The money order. So um, it's it's available in the um, downloads at Ma More Awesome Than You. And um, it's... All I do is I just downloaded it and in my downloads folder and put it in there with the customer selector and then it started working that's what i vaguely remember so try that and see if that's the problem is that the customer selector requires you to have the money order as well too but it does work as you can know the customer selector does work but i think that's the reason why and then the second thing is um to remember that he has for whatever reason this is the second thing that kept it from working for me he has playables under family playable he has that set to not by default if you don't do anything no playables will show up you have to go in and set that to or every time you use the customer selector why he set it up like that I have no flipping clue but he did and that's the other thing to remember with the customer selector and try those two things and let me know if they work in the comment section at reddit so um let's see here we have done some kind of fancy flag stuff which is quite cute out here in the front it says come open for business let's see how it looks with the with the uh, oh look at that oh <gasps> chester do you like it what do you mean you're not looking go ahead and look what do you mean you can't look unless i control you <laughs> little sim goddess humor um, okay, so the next step, we need to put a phone in, we need to do a couple other things as well, too. Like hire someone. 
We also need a place to put the phone. Um, and over here on this wall is where I'm going to put the little sign. If I eventually make one for this business that just says the yum yum shop. If you wish to make me a sign that says the yum yum shop and is pretty and you've done something nice, feel free to do so and then uh, upload it to Dropbox or some other media fire or something and send me a link to it. And if I like it, I will turn it into a sign and put it here. I'd like something that's rectangular, you know, this shape, um, landscape, I guess you would call that, uh, so that it'll fit nicely in this little area here. But if you have something, I will have Chester paint it and put it up. And I will, of course, give you all the credit in the world. <laughs> so that's a little challenge out there for you all. Now, um, we need a phone. And the best place to put one would be, whoops, not there, not on the roof. <laughs> Over here, I'm going to grab my trusty... Max's phone that I use all the time. This phone came with pets. That's why you may not see it if you don't have that uh, expansion pack. But I, I, even though I have a lot of recolors for it, I rarely use the Max's telephone. I just like this telephone so much. Um, there was one other thing I was thinking I needed to do, but I can't remember what it is. So let's hire our new employee and get her here and get her set up. I'm going to set that ringer to 5. Always remember to do that, otherwise... Do you guys remember when the base game came out and there was no ability to set the ringer on it? That feature, actually, I'm I'm not sure if it comes with Max's. I think it's part of a Pescado's phone hack, um, I, which I've had in for so long I can't tell what's his and what isn't. Let's hire some employees for this lot. Okay, and the person I have in mind for this lot already ready. She's oh, she's already got a silver restocking badge, which I did not give her. I just go in with each new sim that comes into Akinthop and I randomize everything. So unless I have some specific reason for them to come into the hood or some story reason, otherwise I just randomize them. So that was just good luck. She doesn't know how to cook much. That's a problem. But I'm going to hire her anyway. And she might have to do the cash register until she gets some more cooking points. So, now that she's here, let's call her in by sending in... Oh, wait, nope. <laughs> Calling in all employees. Don't want to send them home. There's nobody here. And... Also, while I'm at it, I'm going to turn this phone around because I happen to know, being a long-term simmer, that... This uh, is a portal right here. There's a portal right here for the sim to appear. We'll see. Uh, you'll see that happen in a moment when uh, Chamara shows up. <sighs> and there she is. So uh, here she is, ready to do her first day of work. And I'm going to assign her to be the chef. So that means she's going to head in here, and then I have to remember how this works. Do I have to set her up? Hold on a moment while I have a brain fart and try to remember how I set her up to cook. I've set her up to be the chef. Oh, he's attracted to her. Well, that's lucky. I think I might have her just chat with... I'm going to have her share, have him share interests with her, which is just another feature that came, I think, with the base game. And as far as setting her up to cook, I just had a, re a memory come to mind. I think a sign job, Chamara, yes. And then I have to have her make, make a group something here. I'm going to have her make a group. Let's 
Sorry about that. Uh, sign job. Chamara. I'm hoping that she can make the stuff. Ooh, single black and catfish. Group waffles, group waffles. Um. Yeah, there are some things in here that she can't make. So. What, that means that when I go and play her lot, it will be very important for me to have her raise her cooking scale as soon as possible. Um, in the meantime, I can have her make a few things here. Actually, you know what? I changed my mind. I lied. I changed my mind. <laughs> I just straight up lied and changed my mind. <laughs> I'm going to uh, set uh, Shamara to be the cashier, and we will consider that as cashiering that she is a, an apprentice baker, and that she will learn to bake as she is there, and then I will have her go home and study her cooking skill and get it up to at least five so that she can start to make some of the more advanced dishes. And then I'll have Chester be a salesman, and then after the business is closed, he will make things in the kitchen. So I'm going to have him be um, a restocker. And then also, while he's restocking, he should also do sales, I think. We're going to find out. But in the meantime, let's have him talk to Chamara. Isn't she cute? <laughs> so the benefit is that as they're talking, they're going to build, you know, he's going to talk about things that he's interested in. And you can see the two points rising over her head, which means that each time he talks about a subject, she'll gain a, a point. Well, not a point, but she will gain interest in that subject. And over time, she will build more interest in, in the, the interest that he has. Something you can do with uh, children, I believe. So, it looks like we are ready for our first day. It's about 9 a.m. I'm going to end this episode here, and in the next episode, I'm going to come back and show you how the bakery works. Now, remember, one of the wonderful things about this is that each of the things that the Sims buy, other Sims buy in the bakery, will be available for them to eat in their inventory. So, when we go and play another lot, and we want to know what's for dinner, we'll just take a look in their inventory and see what they bought autonomously. It's one of the great things about an integrated economy so that's the bakery all beautifully done up if you have any ideas anything i missed um let me know in comments over at reddit.com forward slash r forward slash the jessa channel and i'll see you over there that's where the party is but as always i want to thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed what you saw please hit the thumbs up button below and encourage me and if you loved what you saw join the party the ever-growing party, and subscribe. I'll see you back here in Akinthop as we go through a day at the bakery at the Yum Yum Shop <laughs> in the next episode. As always, thank you so much for watching. Get every new Jessa Channel video right in your email inbox. Subscribe then, from your YouTube homepage, click Manage Subscriptions, then check Email with new uploads. And thanks for watching.